Hi everyone and welcome. In the previous video, we have covered the getting started guide for Banana Pi M40 that how you can flash Banana Pi Ambient Jemmy Ubuntu minimal operating system onto the SD card. Then after how you can, you know, done the USB debugging to access the terminal of Banana Pi M40, how you can connect with the Wi-Fi. And then after how you can access the Banana Pi M40 board via the SSH okay so we have covered the entire guide in the previous video now in this video we are going to install the same operating system onto the emmc storage of banana pi m40 and then we are going to control the board via ssh okay or we will see how you can get the ssh access of this board and uh, here is the documentation page okay for banana pi m40 and here is the getting started guide for banana pi m40 now what we exactly want to do is we want to transfer all the content of the sd card onto the emmc storage okay which is in the back side of this board so we don't need this sd card when we boot the uh, board next time okay so this is what we want to do so let's see how you can do that so here on the documentation they have provided this command okay banana pie config but uh, we are not going to use it we'll use some another command okay so first of all we have to log in to the banana pie m40 so i'm going to open the command prompt here we will type ssh and then root is the username okay and here is the ip address 192.168.1.5 and here is the password so t w o r and here we are onto the terminal of banana pi m40 now if you uh, type this command or if you use this command then you won't get any result okay you can see sudo banana pi config command not found so instead of banana pi config command you can use this command okay so where is that yeah sudo ambient install so you can copy this command and you can run that command here okay and here you will see the main screen now once you see this main screen you can also follow the entire guide okay so this is the guide to install image to the emmc either you can follow this or you can go along with our video now here you can see first option is boot from sd card okay second option is boot from emmc system on emmc Third option is boot from EMMC system on SATA, USB or NVMe SSD. Right now, we want to boot the board from the EMMC storage, which is available on the board. Okay, so if you flip the board, then here you can see the black chip. Okay, so that is our EMMC storage of 8 GB. So we want to boot our board from that EMMC storage. So what we are going to select here is the second option, boot from EMMC, system on EMMC. Okay, so here you can see, the script will erase your EMMC storage, MMC block zero drive. Okay, so you want to continue. So yes, we want to continue. And then here you can see, select file system type. So if you go for the documentation, then they have suggested to select the file system type ext4 okay so we are going with the ext4 and here you can see formatting mmc block 0 now counting files okay so it will take few seconds Okay, so entire process is done to copy the file from SD card to EMMC storage. Now what we can select is power off. Okay, so you have to hit enter and you have to power off the Banana Pi M40. And uh, here you can see LED stops blinking. So our device is power off. Okay, now uh, here let me clear the screen and our device is already power off. So nothing to worry about now what we can do is we can remove the sd card from here 
okay and uh, what i can do is i can plug out this cable and i can plug in again to turn on my banana pi m40 and here you can see the green led is blinking okay red led is also blinking so now we can uh, try to access the board over ssh yeah we are able to ping so let me type the ssh command now and here is the password okay and we are on to the banana pi m40 terminal okay without sd card so you can see sd card is not plugged onto the board okay the operating system is on the emmc storage of this board and we are able to access this board without any sd card okay so this is the main part and this is the best part of this board so without using sd card you can boot the operating system from this okay which is entirely not possible in the raspberry pi any board of raspberry pi okay i'm not sure about the new one but similarly in the same form factor we have the raspberry pi 02w okay so in that we don't have this facility okay so this one is the best part now let's check the uh, storage so df hyphen h okay and uh, yeah here you can see oh 29 gb so we have the emmc storage of 32 gb inside this board okay so they have sent us this board with 32 gb of emmc storage here you can see the available is 26 gb okay and only five percentage is in the use so that is the best part for me so i can store lots of my data inside this board okay without using sd card okay so this is amazing now let's check the memory so free hyphen h and 2.5 gb is total and 2 gb memory is free so i can run the node raid i can run my javascript i can run my python okay even i can attach the camera and run some ai algorithm okay so there are a lot of things we can do with this board if you have 32 gb of emmc storage and 2.5 gb of ram okay so right now the entire board is running onto the emmc storage without any sd card so our agenda for this video is done okay that how you can install the ambient 24.8.2 jemmy ubuntu minimal operating system onto emmc storage of banana pi m40 and then after how you can uh, take the ssh access so i have already uh, explain you that once it is connected with the wi-fi you can use the ssh command and you can take control of the ssh terminal of this board and using this command you can check the available size so here you can see we have 1.2 gb used okay from the 29 gb and total 26 gb is available for use so that's good so i hope everything is clear that how you can install the ubuntu operating system onto the emmc storage of banana pi m40 and if you have any question or any doubt in this then you can always ping me on telegram instagram whatsapp anywhere also you can send me a mail also you can comment on this video also you can chat with me on linkedin so let's meet in the future videos and in the future video we will see how you can erase the emmc storage of banana pi m40 okay so instead of minimal operating system if you would like to uh, use desktop operating system onto the emmc storage of this board then you have to erase the emmc storage and you have to again copy the operating system contained to emmc storage so for that we'll see that how you can erase emmc storage again okay so stay tuned for the future videos till then take care goodbye and thank you